Hello friends, you are watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I will show you how we can install WPS Office in a Linux machine. So the common problem which uh, users face after switching from Windows to Linux is they are not uh, able to find a good Office suit. Okay. So like yeah, we have in Linux also, we have in Linux uh, LibreOffice. Okay but which is not that much user friendly. The GUI is, is, is not that much good and it, it's not user friendly. Okay, but it is an open source software. Okay, as compared to if we talk about Microsoft Office, which, which requires a license, right? So as an alternative, we in Linux, we have WP Office. We can use WP Office, we can download and install WP Office and we can get started with, uh, with it. So to install WPS Office in Linux, we'll go to, we'll open our browser. And here we'll just go to linux.wps.com. Okay, you have to go to this site, linux.wps.com. And here, when you open the site, you'll find a download button. So you have to click on this download button. And here you will find two packages for installing WPS Office. One is Debian package, another is RPM package. So Debian is for uh, Debian uh, Debian based operating systems. Okay, like Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux. Okay, if you have a Linux distribution of any of these uh, flavors, like Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux, Linux Mint. So in that case, we'll be going with the Debian package. Or if you are using a Red Hat based operating system, Red Hat family, like uh, Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora, so in that case, we, we have to download this package, RPM, Red Hat Package Manager. So right now, I am in a Ubuntu machine, so I am going to install the Debian package. So uh, first, here we have to click here. So the download has been started. All right, so it has been downloaded. So I'll just open my file browser, file manager, and I'll navigate to my downloads folder. Yeah, and here is that file downloaded. So now we can simply right click on it and we can click on open with software installer. There are two ways to install it. One is this this way, like you can simply right click on it and open it with a software installer or you can also install it with the terminal. Yeah, and here you can simply click on install. And now here it is asking for some authentication. It's asking for your password through which you logged into your machine, the password of this user, the user uh, uh, from which you logged into the machine. It's just your login password. And once you provide it, it will start doing the installation. Okay. Another way is you can simply open terminal. You can go to the folder, download folder, right click there and you can click on open in terminal. Okay, now in the terminal, first run this command ls. And yes, we are able to see that package, .deb package of WPS office. Then you have to just run this command sudo dpkg hyphen i hyphen i is for installing a debian package then the package name okay and then just hit enter and then it will ask you for your sudo password okay once you provide it it will start the installation okay as i have already put in it in the installation of uh, uh, through the gui so i'll not do this installation but this is another way to do installation of any debian package not only this one for any debian package you can do installation like this if it is a dot deb package okay okay now it is installed successfully so i'll just close this box now here you can simply search for wps and yeah we got the softwares installed set of software tools installed of wps which are uh, WPS presentation, WPS dark editor, WPS spreadsheet, WPS PDF. Okay, so I'll just open one of uh, these. Let's say WPS writer. And here you can see WPS uh, writer. And here you can simply click on new document to create a new doc. You can use, you can create a doc. 
Excel sheet or a presentation. You can simply click on here and you can click on here to get started with creating your doc. Okay, so it is quite easy to use and quite user friendly as compared to LibreOffice. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing tutorials.